Hey everyone, it's Amy, and today I have a long-awaited video, at least it was long-awaited for me. I have in the Daily Charm Halloween Mystery Box. Now, just to give you some background on this box, I pre-ordered this box back in August. Pre-order was supposed to go out about mid-September. So mid-September rolls around, haven't seen a shipping notification. Then it's like the last week, maybe the week before. I, cause I was just curious, I didn't know like what day they were gonna send it out on. So I reached out to customer service asking them what day they were planning to ship out these boxes. Because one, I wanted to do this for the video, and so I kind of need it ahead of time to be able to film it, edit it, and upload it in enough time for you guys to see it. Plus, I wanted this stuff to do Halloween nails, and again, I film, so I, I pre-film for holidays and stuff, so that was a little bit frustrating that it wasn't going out, so I reached out to them. They said that they were waiting on some polishes to come in, I think, and that they were expecting to ship late September. So, um, end of September comes around. Last day of September, I was ready to message them October 1st, being like, is it shipping out or what's happening? Um, September 30th. 8 p.m. at night, I get a shipping notification that it shipped out. So, I'm not sure what the delay was, what was happening. Um, it Once it shipped, it did get to me fairly quickly. It So, it shipped 8, 8 p.m. September 30th. It got to me today, which is October 4th. But... And especially for everyone else, if there is other nail techs that ordered this, they're going to want it for their clients to have. So, I don't know what happened. I also would have liked to see them um, had sent out like a mass email to everyone who purchased it, like explaining and letting us know that there was a delay and that they changed the shipment date, but they didn't do that, so... That was a little disappointing, but it's here. So let's get into the box. This box was $49 and there's supposed to be a lot of goodies in here. I have not looked, so I literally have no idea what came in here. All right, we got this card charm gel. Just one of their like thank you cards. We got all the squiggly paper, which is gonna make a mess. Um, we have some candy, <laughs> Twizzler and a York patty. Let's see, I see a few different things. I don't know what I wanna pull out first. Let me just pull out what's on top and we'll kind of go through it. So this one is a charm wheel. Let me take it out of the packaging. So here's what the charm wheel looks like. We got some neon orange and green crystals. We got some kind of like black multi-chrome crystals, um, black bow, a red bow. We got some different uh, frames. These are cool. They're black ca caviar beads and they're matte. We got some white silver caviar beads and these look like they're chains. Let's open up the chains. So it's just a long chain. And of course I've seen it where people like, they cut it and then they use it with gel. I've never used charms 
before or chains before for nail art. Next thing I'm pulling out is this 3D art mixing gel. And I've never used 3D gel before. I'm also curious what color this is. It doesn't say anywhere on the bottle. Oh, it's clear. Mixing gel. I'm gonna have to look up what this is. This might just be um, like a crystal gel. Like it's meant to hold crystals in place in 3D art. But I thought it was actually gonna be like the 3D paste. Next, we got a couple glitters. Um, let's see, this one's not a glitter, this one's a pigment. This one's a neon orange and it does glow in the dark, so that's going to be fun to play with. This one, oh, this one does not have a name, but they are black multi-chrome bats. And then heck, there's some hexagon pieces in there too. I like how small the bats are too. A lot of the bats, bat glitters I've gotten are fairly large, so I like the size of these. This one, again, no name. This one's interesting. It's got a lot of iridescent white kind of glitters. And then there's some like black multi-chrome. Interesting mix. Got some paper cutouts. There's lollipops, ghosts, spiders, bats, and then pumpkins with hats on them. I've never used these um, paper charms either. We got another glitter. This one again does not have a name, but just a white iridescent glitter. This one good for doing sugaring. Ooh, we got some cool spikes in gold and silver. We have just a multi-pack of Swarovskis in just Halloween colors. Red, green, purple, orange. Again, no names on these packages. We got some larger 3D embellishments. There's a headstone, there's a skeleton that's upside down, a couple crosses. Ooh, these are pretty cool. I don't know that I'd necessarily use these for Halloween, but these are kind of cool. They almost look like droplets of water. We have a watercolor art ink. This is number three. Oh, it's red. I might have to play around with this to do blood nails. That will be fun. Another glitter mix. This one has confetti type glitter. Um, in like a iridescent black and orange and there's squares and stars. Oh, that's a pretty cool mix. I like that one. And look, we have some bat molds, which, what do you, what do you fill with these? Do you do the 3D like paste in this? Or acrylic, I don't have acrylic. So I'm not even sure that I can use this. Mm, we do have some fun black lace transfer foil. That one's super pretty. And then this one's kind of like a lace with uh, roses, silhouettes of roses. I like those. 
Next, I'm pulling out some uh, nail art stickers. We got these funny faced pumpkins. Some black cats, skulls. Um, there's some slashes. Just kind of some random. They're like weird little characters though. And then the last thing in the box is one of their charm gels. And I've never used their charm gels before. This one's Midnight Kiss. The heart kind of looks like it's an ombre, so I wonder if this is a color changing. So it says number T10, Midnight Kiss. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Test it out. Oh, it might be like a jelly. That's pretty cool. It's like a jelly. It goes on like super smooth and even. It definitely levels out. Let's give this a cure. Let's see how long it says to cure it. Um, it says 30 seconds in UV LED. So yeah, here's what that looks like. I'm just gonna do one layer. It coated pretty evenly. It's not streaky at all. I'd be curious to see how um, their other polishes do, because again, I've never used their brand of polishes before, but um, just from testing out this one, I'm kind of impressed with it. Went on really smoothly. All right, so this is everything that I received in the Daily Charm Halloween mystery box. And I have very mixed feelings about this. I'd, want, I'd be curious to go back and see price-wise what I'd be getting as far as like the deal because I paid $49. And by looking at what I got, I do think that this is worth more than $49. However, I'm slightly disappointed. And you guys let me know down below whether I'm being picky. Like, feel free to tell me that I'm just being picky and this is a great box. But I'm kind of feeling underwhelmed, honestly. I feel like they kind of just threw the box together and it's like it's mostly halloween themed but like i just i don't know i just feel like this box wasn't well thought out and obviously they were having some sort of an issue they said they were waiting for polishes to come in and then the only polish i got was the blue jelly one which is not even a Halloween color. Like, sure, this would be fun to do, maybe like ocean nails or like something, but I would have liked a red or an orange or a purple jelly, a black jelly. So it's like a blue, what am I gonna do with that? So let me go through the things that I do like, and then we'll kind of go over like my mixed feelings. So I do really like that they included one of the watercolor inks and it's red because that's going to be perfect for doing blood nails. I'm actually really excited to try this out. I do really like the black lace transfer foil. This is going to be super handy and not just for Halloween as well, but it does go with Halloween nails for sure. I'm really excited to try this powder, the neon glow in the dark orange powder. Excited about that one. I do really like this bat glitter mix as well. And that's kind of about it. 
<laughs> so let me go through the stuff that I'm like iffy about or don't really like. So I think this is a fun mix, but I don't really feel like it's Halloween. I also don't have a name for it, so I'm curious to see if they like just kind of pick a random glitter or if they if this is like listed under their Halloween stuff. Um, I feel like this one will look really cool for winter though, doing like winter Christmas nails, but I I don't think I'm going to use this for Halloween. The sugaring definitely you can use for Halloween nails. I generally do more sugaring for Christmas and you can definitely use this color for Christmas doing sugaring snowflakes with this. Super pretty. I already own a couple, so I'm like, it's a good, good for the mix, but I already had something like this. Um, I do like this glitter mix, however. Like, it wasn't my favorite, but I definitely see how this is a Halloween glitter mix, and this would come in the Halloween box. That makes sense to me. These ones... I don't see how they're really like for Halloween. They're cool, I'm excited to use them, but I don't see why they would put this specifically in the Halloween box. Um, the 3D embellishments, I feel like they just chose random ones. I don't know, I bought, like I have their um, spider pearl uh, 3D embellishments and I think I have like um, a skeleton hand or something else and they're really cool but I just feel like they put random ones in here and they only put one of each kind. I would have rather had less options and have two of each kind so that way you know when you're doing clients and you're doing nails you can have one on each hand. These are cool, it's a cool mix, they're Halloween colors, get this, but I didn't personally feel like I needed it. I do like the spikes, however, I kind of wish they would have given us the like gunmetal or black spikes, would have fit better with Halloween. Um, I don't know how to feel about these paper ones. I've, I've just never used paper charms from any company. You guys all have to let me know down below if you use paper charms and how you use them and if you like them, what your thoughts. I just, I kind of just don't know much about them. These stickers are really weird. Like the pumpkins are really weird. That one's kind of cute, and so is that one, but the one with the teeth, I don't know, guys, <laughs> am I being picky, or are these pumpkins weird? I could definitely use, like, the witch hat, the slashes, the skull, the bat, but those pumpkins, and then they have, like, random, like, wheels, kind of a weird vibe. And then this guy, I just don't think I can use it. I've seen them before, but I'm not too familiar with how these molds work. But I don't believe I own anything to be able to use these molds. So I kind of wish they would have included like a paste or something that would go with this. So that way I could use it. Now maybe somehow you can use like this mix because it's a called a mixing gel so i'm gonna have to look this up and see what they recommend it for maybe you can use the mixing gel and mix a pigment and then make the molds you might be able to do that i'm just not sure i'm gonna have to like look into that and then this wheel is okay i do like the neon green and orange um these are halloween the bows are kind of random. I guess the rest. I guess, okay. Second thought, this is actually a good wheel for Halloween. Bows are kind of random. I kind of wish they had something other than the bows. Like um, maybe a spider charm. Or they could have put like the spikes in there instead. So this is <laughs> what I got. 
I was super excited and super pleased with my Glitter Mix Canada mystery box that I got. And I'll leave a link to that video down below if you want to check it out. And hers is more fine-tuned, if you want to call it. Um, hers is more, I guess, narrow. Like, it's definitely glitter mixes is her thing. And then she has transfer foils and um, decals. So it's like, I got a lot of glitter mixes and decals and transfer foils. And with Daily Charm, they have such a wide range of nail art supplies. So I was really excited to try like some new things. And I've ordered from Daily Charm before. I get a lot of my Swarovskis from them. I've ordered a lot of charms from them. It was a mystery box, so I mean, that is totally on me. That's, that's what happens when you buy a mystery box you get what you get you might not necessarily like it and that's kind of like the fun in the mystery box i'd be curious to know if any of you guys ordered this box and if you got the same supplies or if you got different supplies i wonder if they gave like different colors for the gels i also think i'm kind of being harsh with this box because of the whole delay situation and them not you know, being upfront and honest and letting us know like what was happening. And I was kind of confused by them saying that they were waiting for polishes to be in. And then I only got one polish, so I don't know. <laughs> there are definitely some things in here that I am super excited to try, but all in all, this box was okay. If you guys have ever ordered any of their mystery boxes, or I know they do mystery bags, let me know how you guys like them. Let me know if I should try one of their mystery boxes or one of their mystery bags again and give them another try. Or if you guys agree and it'd be better off for me to just pick out my own stuff instead. Because they do have good nail art supplies. I am not dragging daily charm at all i love them they have such a great range and that's why i was excited i just i didn't get kind of what i wanted but again i could have just gone and picked out what i wanted so give this video a, a thumbs up if you enjoy me doing these unboxing videos of nail art and make sure you're subscribed for halloween tutorials coming up soon hopefully using some of my new Halloween supplies. And if not, there'll still be some cool Halloween videos coming up soon. See you guys next time. Bye.